state's attorney has completely exonerated James Boulay. But we are going to keep fighting this and everyone in Connecticut can and should stand with us. We demand that the six members of the Criminal Justice Commission of Connecticut reopen the investigation of me. We're naming you Andrew McDonald, Juliet Crawford, Mary Melvin, Eric George, Moy Oglavy, Eric Russell. Reopen this investigation. This investigation by the state police, overseen by Maureen Platt, by Chief State's Attorney Kevin Kane, this has been a sham from the start. They know it, and we know it. They never wanted to hold this officer accountable. They were never looking for justice. We charge the state's attorney and the chief state's attorney with misconduct. The state's attorney has been colluding with the Bridgeport Police Department from the very beginning. The state police, Mayor Joe Gannam of Bridgeport, the state's attorney, they all could have released the video. They had the discretion to at any point, and they did not. Why? Because they have been protecting the police from the start. We know the police can't investigate the police. We know the police, the state police never really investigated this crime. They took the police story from start to finish without interviewing bystanders and people from the community who saw what happened that day. What they saw contradicted police accounts in every way. Maureen Platt, you took the police story from the start. Even when the Bridgeport police lied again and again about what happened to Jason, Chief AJ Perez actively tried to cover up what happened to Jason. He said Jason died on the spot, shot in the head. But video showed Jason was alive, moving. He died after they refused to call emergency medical services. He died there in the street. That was only one of their lies. And Kevin Kay, Chief State's Attorney, you've been working quietly behind the scenes to obstruct justice. We've always known where you stood. He has been a part of this collusion. Last year, two months after Jason was killed, he wrote an article, emboldened juveniles and danger the public. He called for increasing incarceration and criminal sanctions on our youth. He never wanted to protect Jason or see through justice. The blatant racism of his ideas are sickening, yet this man is our chief state's attorney, the chief state's attorney of the state. We, the community, charge all of this as collusion, as misconduct. This decision is sickening. This is a sick system, and we have to keep fighting it. And all of you can be a part of this work. We need a movement together to end police terror in Connecticut, once and for all. It means we need to limit the power of the police, not give them more funding and technology to kill. We need to limit their power with community review boards with real subpoena power. We need to watch the police and challenge the stories they tell about themselves. This is a brutal institution. Violence is everything that they do. Look around at them right here. We are a grieving community standing here to resist injustice. They are armed out there. What do they want to do to us? Stop believing their stories about community violence. Stop believing the stories that they tell about protecting the community. We need to start naming their violence. If we ever want these killings to stop, we need to start telling the truth about the police. And that includes the press. We need to stop treating the police like they're gods. They are people. They are people who are given too much power. They are given the power to kill with total impunity. To end police terror, we need to target people like Maureen Platt and Kevin Kane and Governor Malloy who sit in their offices and feel nothing and maintain a system that protects the police. Why? Because the police serve them. The police serve power, not communities, not the people. We need to connect the police terror happening in our streets with the terror happening in these buildings. Governor Dan Malloy, 
Under your reign, more and more people, youth, are being killed by the police. This is the record that you will be leaving office with. You have remained silent on these killings. Where are you? Do black and brown lives matter to you when they're taken in the streets by your own cops? Right now, our public officials couldn't give less a damn that police across their state are killing black and brown youth, shooting them point blank inside of cars, then using cars as the excuse for killing them. Joe Ganna, his people said, just last week, it was Jason's fault that he died. No, Ganim, this is your fault. He was 15. Joe Ganim believes that Jason deserved to die. He is a sickening person. Joe Ganim has led and empowered the deadliest police department in this state. He has stood by the brutality of the Bridgeport police. We need to end his run for governor now. For every person and organization that says black and brown lives matter, Prove it by refusing to give Ganem a platform. End his run for governor now. He is a direct threat to the lives of people of color and the communities most impacted by police. Please stand with us. There is so much we can do and we're only getting started. Today we will be gathering in Bridgeport at 5 p.m. to stand in solidarity with Jason's family. To honor him to remember his life and we'll be there to build power and to tell everyone about the next steps and actions we are going to take to continue seeking justice, justice for Jason. Please stand with us. And today we want to remember in particular three of the people who've been taken, whose lives were taken by the police. We want to remember Jason who was killed on May 9th by the Bridgeport Police. We want to remember Vincent Huda Phelps. Today is the anniversary of his death. He was killed by Norwalk Police on January 26th of last year. And we want to remember Zoe Dodal, who was killed by New Britain Police on December 14th. Five officers unloaded their guns into the car, filled with Zoe and two other teenagers. We're going to hold a moment of silence and then we're going to report and we hope you all come with us.